Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So here is the next room that I'm gonna tackle. So this is our kitchen. So if you watch my other video, I did tackle the laundry, which is actually off the kitchen. And so yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff on the counter. I'm not really gonna go through all of the cabinets. I just wanna kind of clean up everything, all the visible area so all of this counter space here um, i do want to unload the dishwasher and do some of the dishes that are in the sink so that's everything that i'm going to tackle right now um this corner bit here um so you see you see some snow stuff there i did a load of washing and so this is stuff that i need to put in the garage so that area there is just a uh, catch-all of everything so you've got our car keys up there you've got all of our stuff there so i do have to tackle that corner so right now i am just basically putting away a lot of the dishes i need to do that first before i can even tackle the sink i find it always best to basically get rid of or put away all of the clean kind of items before i even look at all of the dirty stuff so i am putting away all of the items i am the type of person that likes to put stuff away so out of sight out of mind um eventually i will be able to i want to try and tackle a lot of these cabinets we've only been in our house for a few years now so um we haven't really decluttered them we've just kind of filled them up with all the stuff that we have in the house so in our other house so i do have to tackle those right there i am putting the rice into our rice dispenser so i love this rice dispenser we got it off amazon a while ago so i always have that in the corner um we are from our background is Asian, so we do have rice all the time. You can see the rice cooker right next to the stove and the rice dispenser there. So we're always having rice with almost every meal. And so, yeah, I'm just putting everything away. Um, eventually, like I said, I will go through these cupboards one day. So I will have a video of just tackling all of those small cupboards. But yeah, I'm, there's that corner there. It's just a catch-all. I've got everything from toys to clothes. So I'm slowly going through all, everything here. This whole process uh, took about an hour. So if you watched my video before, I've been saying that I'm just trying to find an hour in a day or an hour every few days just to tackle an area in my house. So this took an hour. I put a timer on. I just tried to tidy up as much as I could. Um, all this snow gear here is going to go into the garage. I, it is basically getting warm right now. We did go to the snow. Uh, we went to Mammoth uh, a few weeks ago. And so, yeah, all those are going to go into the garage. That's another area that I have to really tackle um, that is getting out of control as well. But, yeah, it is spring now. We're hitting, like, almost 80-degree weather. So I do have to kind of rotate all the stuff in my garage and basically bring all the summer stuff forward and put all the winter stuff back so right now in this corner there's a few mail that i'm just going to go through a lot of it is junk so i'm just going through that really quickly and then i did spot an amazon package so i bought some keychains uh some mercedes keychains to go with my keys so i did find those so considering um I'm already there, might as well just attach them and so I don't have to worry about it later on. So you can see me there just opening it up and I'm going to install them already on the keys. Um, that's my eight-year-old, so she's just around. So yeah, you can see there, I basically bought that keychain from Amazon to add to my keys. That way I don't lose them. And then yeah, you basically see my kids running around. So I'm trying to do all this cleaning while taking care of them that container there so i did have some recycle that you were you saw me put uh basically clean up from the counter and so that one um milk bottle you'll see it it's just funny my daughter is just carrying it around the whole place um every time i put it somewhere she picks it up and takes it somewhere else eventually i ended up putting it with our cycles outside in our garage but yeah so i've just done my key, my first keychain there and so i'm going to do another one my other daughter she's helping me out a lot um the eight-year-old she is helping me take care of the little one right now you don't see it but she's actually feeding her and um, entertaining her in the dining room area so I that's the next 
tackle well that's the next room i want to tackle as well the dining room there's not much there but there are a bookshelf and a bar area that i want to kind of declutter because i don't know for some reason all these small little areas they tend to accumulate stuff that's not meant to be there so my kids have a lot of toys um and so I have not purchased toys for them in a long time. It's a lot of gifts and stuff like that. And then also with that Facebook group that I told you about, I do get free toys from there as well. So that's good. That corner, um, if you see it in the bottom left corner, there's a cabinet there that I keep on throwing stuff in. A lot of people have what they call a junk drawer. I just have that drunk cabinet. So that junk cabinet there has so much stuff that's going to be another thing that I'm going to have to tackle right now I'm just all those uh medicine and other stuff like that I've just put them in a bag and I'm going to take them away from there they we don't need them over there and so yeah I'm just slowly a few of those items that are miscellaneous I don't know what to put I'm just throwing it in that junk cabinet there and so one day I will go through that that's on my list so I do have a bunch of uh areas in my house that i want to go through right now i'm just focusing on the visible spaces and then eventually i'll start going through all the hidden spaces and the cabinets so yeah just slowly going through all the stuff um there's those flowers so it was my kid's birthday and her boyfriend gave her some flowers i did check it to see if they're still alive and they were even though she got them before our trip and so i just gave it some water and left it there and so yeah i'm still slowly putting away all of the clean cutlery there and then um, i will start to hit the dishwasher very soon so I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but um, I follow Jody Dunn on YouTube. And so she has basically motivated me to kind of start this YouTube channel. So basically, um, she's been going through her house, decluttering her house. Um, she's been in her house for probably um, more than 10 years. I've only been through in my house for two years, but I have, there's a lot of us in that house and with little ones, um, it does and get out of control with the amount of stuff that they have so i have basically created this youtube channel and this video more to keep myself accountable i just want to record myself um doing all of these cleaning around the house and then eventually i'm hoping within by me doing this my house is in a better states and so i'm not as stressed out when it comes to my house so i have a lot going on between work between school i am going to school and then also with the family that coming to a house that is cluttered like this is just overwhelming and stressful so by me doing this and coming to my house coming home from at my house that it's very clean um it allows me to not worry so much about it so that is my goal i am not mo i'm not a motivated person i it overwhelms me to see a lot of mess but i just don't have the time so right now i am making sure that i give myself an hour to tackle an area of my house it may not be every day but on when I do find time, I am going to find that one hour to clean up the area. Of course, it's going to get to the point where, example, with the kitchen, I will clean this. And then more than likely by tomorrow, this will be a mess again. But I have cleaned it enough that it's more like a maintenance than uh, where it was. So right now it was a bit out of control. We just came back from holiday and everything is just everywhere. So I really wanted to just tackle this, make sure that it's clean. And so that way I can not when I'm looking at this, I'm not overwhelmed and I'm not stressed. So yeah, like right now, I'm just going through, um, putting away all of that corner cabinet is just all of our Tupperware. And that's, like I said, all of the hidden spaces I'll eventually get to. Um, there's even that one, that's all of our cups. I'm sure there's a lot of cups here that I can probably get rid of. I don't think we even touch most of the ones at the top. I can barely even reach them, even with the stool. So all of those cabinets, I will get to a point where I will declutter those. Even those drawers, all of those drawers with all of our cutlery and utensils, um, I really have to tackle those. This bottom cabinet there has a lot of like mason jars and a lot of um, 
cups as well so that's another area every time i open up that drawer it's just overwhelming to see it but eventually i will get to it right now it's out of sight out of mind so i'm really just focusing on the visible stuff so i have this little corner there where i, I bought those shelvings from target and so it has a few little extra stuff there i'm just trying to declutter it and right now i'm at the point where i can more or less clean the counters so i do have these wipes here i got them on clearance at cvs so i do coupon as well if you didn't know and so yeah i do have a couponing channel called couponing grew with grace and so i do get a lot of items i shop at cvs primarily and sometimes walmart and albertons but i do get a lot of items for free or money makers and so these wipes i got them i think for only like 60 cents and so i use them a lot i have a whole stockpile for them so i use them to basically clean the counters and everywhere that i can so right there i'm cleaning it all and it was surprising like all the rice that i picked up all of the dirt my counters they they don't it's surprising they don't look dirty because of the I guess the design but then when you start wiping them it's amazing how much dirt there is on this counter so i am just more or less basically filling up the sink right now all of those things that need to be um washed uh that's the other thing when you have a large family and you have kids it's amazing how many uh glass bottles or glass um cups and uh dishes that just accumulate on counters on the dining table all that stuff it's amazing how much of the stuff that's accumulated i would i basically would just go through the kitchen and the dining room and just fill up the sink of the kitchen with just all those items that need to be washed just around the house but yeah you can see there it's just so dirty um it, i'm just tidying up and cleaning up here so you can see i'm just wiping down also the stove those wipes are amazing on the stove as well eventually i will do a deep clean on the stove but right now i'm just tidying up in this corner here so yeah you can see off to my right that is where my laundry is so i did tackle that on my first video and so i'm just thankful that i got that out of the way and so now i'm focusing on the kitchen so i am doing semi deep clean i am moving stuff out of the way and just wiping everything down eventually i have to make a routine where i'm gonna have to do this on a i would say weekly or monthly basis
And so that's basically it. So let's just do a recap of what my kitchen looked like before. I had so much stuff on my counters. I did have a few dirty dishes and a lot more clean dishes to put away. So my whole goal was to just clear out the countertops just to make it more functional because it really looked very cluttered and there was a lot of items here that shouldn't be here. And so that's what my kitchen looked like before. Now let's see what it looks like after I have cleaned it up. And so you can see here, most of the counters are pretty clean. There's nothing there. I do have some clean dishes there that I will put away once it is dried up, but it's just more functional. You can see that I have a lot more counter space to utilize and there, I, there are items there that are no longer there so there are items there that should not be there in the kitchen and so i'm really happy what i've done with the kitchen over these last few hours and so yeah here is a really quick organizing video do stay tuned because i will have more videos in the future thank you for joining me